What is good, Cakes World? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea and this is Weekly Cakes. We are on week eight. Yes, we have hit two months of Weekly Cakes. Round of applause. Yay! Thank you for everyone who has been tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, we have so many more fun content coming up for you guys and I can't wait to share. We're just gonna jump right into today's sneaker news. All right, first off, we're gonna take a look at Eastside Golf Jordan 4. Four. This is a shoe meant for golf, but I, I believe that a lot of people who don't play golf will be copying this shoe if you guys can get your hands on it. This shoe is releasing on August 7th, and it is said to be very, very limited. I love this shoe. This, this is a shoe that gets me excited about sneakers and design in general. I really think that this shoe encompasses a lot of what Eastside stands for and I think the colors and the details that were chosen for the shoe is very very beautiful. Love the gold detailing, love the navy bottoms and the yellow sole. Beautiful. I can't wait to see the shoe come out. Leave in the comments if you guys are trying to cop. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at the Ama Manier Jordan 1s. Yes, we are getting another silhouette after the Jordan 3s. This time, a lot more subtle in design. Um, the swoosh is in snake skin. It's in this burgundy color, and the body is in leather white. What do you guys think of this shoe? Definitely a lot more subtle, a lot more uh, toned down than the Jordan 3s that they did a few months ago. I, you know, personal opinion, it is tough to top the Jordan 3. That is already probably going to be in like the top five, the top two shoe of the year for a lot of people's list. This is not up there. I feel like this is very comparable to like even the Bordeaux's that we're going to see, the Bordeaux Jordan 1's that we're going to see coming out this fall and a lot more subtle. And I think that this shoe will be good for people who want that subtle kind of, you know, vibe. But I thought the Jordan 3 was kind of subtle too. And the details on that was incredible. This, not as much, um, but still looking forward to it coming out and leave in the comments what you guys think and will you guys be copying. Next up, we're gonna take a look at Undefeated and Nike giving us another Dunk versus Air Force One pack. This time it is called Five on It. Okay, first off, I'm curious if anyone copped the pair, the, the Dunk versus Air Force One pack previously in the past month. I didn't see too many people post about it, but I'm interested in seeing if any of you guys cop. This pair again features another Dunk Low and Air Force One, this time giving us a little bit of a snake print texture on the swoosh and on the body of the Dunk Low, and a little bit of suede and more color this time. What do you guys think? I mean, like I just said, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the snake print. I see it coming back. Is it going to stay? Do people even like it? I don't know. But I think after the second pack that came out last month with Undefeated, it's getting a little bit diluted. I don't know if I want to see another pack come out. Leave in the comments what you guys think. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at Drake and Nocta and Nike teaming up again to give us the Hot Step Air Terras. <laughs> We know that Drake's shoes don't always hit when they when he collabs with Nike. We understand that he's not the best and I don't know what happened with their team, but they always come out with kind of weaker drops. And I think this is no exception. I don't like this shoe. This shoe reminds me of the Fila Dyna Stompers, especially that this shoe is in all white with the rigid like um, sole. Is there not a comparison to this? Like, did no one say to Drake while they were making this shoe that this is similar? Anyways, for the Drake fans out there, unfortunately, I feel like this one is probably going to be on the lower end spectrum of the hype list. And, you know, are people going to cop? But hey, honestly, like, I can see how this is a Drake shoe. Like, this runs well with his lover boy um, aesthetic, especially with the Air Force One that he's coming out. So I get it. Are we a fan? Leave in the comments below. Um, we'll love to hear. Okay, and that wraps it up for the secret news this week. And now we're gonna take a look at my weekly pickups. Usually I talk about the shoes that I've been getting, but this week I wanted to change it up a little bit. Summer is pretty much like halfway over, and I just wanted to show shoes that I've been wearing non-stop all summer long. No surprise, this is my 550s. This pair has gone through some wear and tear. I've cleaned this shoe probably around. 10 times. Shout out to Rejuvenator for all the cleaning stuff I always get. I love it. Um, I use the clean wipes on this quite a bit, but the 550s, you guys, I cannot recommend this shoe enough. It doesn't have to be the ALD collaboration ones. The 550s in general are just a really comfortable shoe. I wear this 
almost every single day. And I feel like this colorway in particular, the one that came out a few months ago, has been my go-to. I have two other pairs, but this one in particular, I think has been great for the summer. Again, I think the overall way of the shoe, the way the shoe looks, is really good on the foot, especially if you kind of have like wider feet. I feel like it, it is good for some people who have a little bit wider feet. I personally really like it. Um, definitely check out the 550s if you haven't already. All right, that wraps it up for this week's weekly kicks. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the past two months. Again, if you guys haven't already, subscribe and like this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.